Hello, good day and welcome. This is going to be a video about how to undervolt your NVIDIA video card. If you have a 1000, 2000, 3000 or 4000 series card, this will work for it. So let's begin. Important software, MSI Afterburner. Without this, you're not going to be undervolting it. So what you're going to need to use for MSI Afterburner is the curve editor over here the voltage frequency curve. It will open in a small window like this, which is going to be a pain to use. If you need to see things better, which I assume you will, you drag it and everything will be nice and spaced out. All right, perfect. So what the voltage frequency curve editor is, is it shows you the correspondence for your voltage frequency curve. So here we have 0.95 volts or 950 millivolts to be precise with it's attached to 1830 megahertz for the stock of my video card with my highest lock speed being 1995 megahertz all the way at 1.1 volts so these cards they actually how they actually draw power mainly respective to the voltage that they are at not necessarily the clock speed if you can get them at a higher clock speed at, a, at the same voltage they will simply use roughly the same amount of power but you'll get more performance right so what this means is you're gonna need to overclock so there's two places you two places to start you can start with the overclocking scanner here or it's at the top in the of the curve if you don't know what you're doing and you want a guaranteed working overclock for your card use the overclock scanner it could take you between 30 to 45 minutes to complete my card can do better than what the overclock scanner says and yours probably will too but the overclock scanner is definitely safe so what you can do is you can drag or you can type in so i can do definitely 135 megahertz and then you apply and go in the curve editor so now that you see overclocking has lifted the curve so at the same 0 0.95 volts it is now attributed to 1965 megahertz over here so this is excellent for me because it's a lot less power for roughly maximum performance. So how do we undervolt? To undervolt, pick a spot, a point. So for me, it'll be 1980 MHz and 0 0.956 volts. You go as close under the spot as you can, in line with it, as, as in line with it as you can, and hold shift and, whoa, no hold shift and drag hold hold left click while holding shift and drag all the way to the right and then while holding shift you hit enter and it will open up an option there and then you hit enter again and your curve will flatten so what this means is that while you're using less voltage your card is not going to go any higher than this and this is an attainable clock speed for me before so if your attainable clock speed is say 1700 megahertz perhaps let's say 1725 instead of that what you do is you would go under it hold shift drag all the way while holding shift hit enter and then hit enter again on laptops this is probably closer to where you would arrive at right and that's all that's a lot less voltage than uh where it would have intersected with before so now that you're finished there you make sure you hit apply in my case i already have a uh an applied curve like this on a profile uh when you're finished and you have applied you can hit save and then a profile will glow there and you can pick it once you're sure everything is stable and you can click up here and it will apply at startup if you so wish so now that this is applied 
let's see. So in my curve, we have 1980 megahertz at 0 0.956 volts. So to see what it's like, let's open this game. I have Rebatina Statistics Server installed with um, with Afterburner. So at the top, you can see my card, and as you you can see it right there. I have high clock speed, and I have the low voltage. Now, in general, the clock speed will go up or down a little bit. It depends on your temperatures and the load of the game. But here you go. So I have high speed, I have low voltage, I have a lot extra power to be used and obviously the card is going to run colder because it's using less power and if you tune it well enough or you have a good enough card, you can quite simply have more power to use things like NVENC for live streaming or recording like I'm doing right now. All right. So I hope that makes sense and I hope everything works out for you guys and gals, you know, some of y'all overclockers, female too, right? Everybody have a good time and good night or morning or whenever you happen to be watching this.